Well, let's talk about executable programs. I'll give you now more details about selection fields in executable programs, also known as reports. Let's give a look at one of them. This is indeed a very important one. So first of all, I will call the uh, ABAP editor, transaction code SE38, we've seen this before, and then enter. So this is RPR underscore ABAP underline source underline scan. I will uh, run this program. This is a program that is used to search for strings in ABAP programs. You might be find it very useful. Uh, and here from the selection screen, we can see that there are different kind of selections. So uh, we have uh, fields that are very simple, like this one. And we can see that um, it allows only one uh, parameter, one value. And we have others like program name, where we can enter single values to include or exclude, or we can enter um, range, this second type to include them, and the last one to exclude them. So uh, selection criteria on ABAP reports are divided in two categories, parameters, the case of this field find location uh, plus minus x lines, and select options. There are more complex selection criteria, like these that you see here. Parameters have a, a basic um, type and refer to a dictionary object like a database table, for instance. It accepts a single value and is used when multiple values or ranges are not relevant for the selection criterion. Second uh, category is select options. All of these that you can see here, also this one, although it looks a little bit different. And they are used when complex criteria are required and may involve ranges, as I, I told you. If we take a deeper look at selection options, you can see that in fact they are internal tables. First of all, um, let's get the name of the technical field for program name. I will do this by clicking positioning the cursor on the field and then I'll click F1. And from this screen, I will click on technical information, the fourth button. Okay, this is the full screen field name, but I just want to show you this structure here. So let me copy it. Done. And now, um, let me enter some parameters here. I will include, for instance, um, ABC as program name. I don't, I know it doesn't exist, but just to show you. And then I will enter here um, BBB until CCC. Then I will exclude what is called um, BBC. And then I will exclude a full range. So uh, all the programs from DDD to CCC, I will exclude from the selection. And let's search from, for a string uh, one, two, three. I will switch on the ABAP debugger, so e slash h, and uh, this will be the f your first contact with the debugger. Enter, and okay, we see here at the bottom that debugging was switched on. I will run the program. Debugger is presented to us. Okay, let me uh, move on a few more steps until the fields that we need to see are recognized. So let me enter here the parameter. And as you can see, it's in fact an internal table. You can tell it from this icon. 
if you position the cursor over it it should tell you it's an internal table I will double click and you can see we have some rows according to the criteria that I entered and this internal table is composed by four fields so first one is sign sign will have two different values so it may have uh, I for which stands for include or E which stands for exclude next field option option will have the op operator used for comparison but it will be in letters so for instance EQ here stands for equal and BT stands for uh, between third field low low contains the only value in case of a direct comparison in case if I just need to enter one value or the lower limit of a range they work it work together with the high field which contains the upper limit of a range it's not relevant for direct comparisons using a single value let me go back so I'll click on the back button and then I will enter here the other field that we uh, saw on the screen this is the plus uh, minor or minus or found location plus minus lines as you can see this is a a, a simple or, or, or this is not a complex field it accepts only one value in this case O2 this is the difference for the, the internal table so let me double click the internal table again just to tell you a little bit what is happening here so for the first line what the ABAP program is doing it's including what's equal to ABC on the second line it's including what is between BBB and CCC next line is excluding what is equal to BBC and the last line is excluding what is between DDD and ZZZ.